Science has revealed that the foundation of our universe is composed of enigmatic force-carrying energy fields. This raises an intriguing question. Why do these quantum fields conspire to form intricate atomic building blocks that share structural and behavioral themes with cellular biology? Both systems exhibit composite structures, nucleus, shells, and bonding mechanisms. Biochemistry had humble beginnings, with the emergence of a self-replicating molecule that unleashed the vast potential of Darwinism. Could the universe have unlocked a similar Darwinian potential, in the form of a self-replicating energy field? In this hypothetical scenario, many primordial fields may have come into existence and faded away. However, the one that evolved the ability to self-replicate would have unlocked a vast Darwinian potential. This self-replicating field could then adapt and optimize, much like the early organisms of our world. Recent advancements by Ben Lorry and his team have demonstrated the spontaneous emergence of self-replicators in digital environments. Their research shows that when random, non-self-replicating programs are placed in an environment lacking any explicit fitness landscape, self-replicators tend to emerge. The complex dynamics that follow the rise of self-replicators in these digital environments offer profound insights, not only into life, but also into the self-replicating quantum fields proposed within the Darwinian Universal Framework. The digital analog of Lori's work provides a compelling model for understanding how self-replicating fields in the early universe might have emerged. Evolving into the baryonic matter and complex cosmological phenomena we observe today. Now we discuss the idea of two divergent field species. If such a Darwinian field could persist and propagate across the vast expanse of space, its potential would be as vast as the universe itself. As it evolves, divergence of field species would seem inevitable, much as life has branched countless times, and how eukaryotic cells gave rise to both plants and animals. Darwinian systems excel at adapting to novel energy sources, as evidenced by the diverse survival strategies of organisms on Earth. Each new emergence becomes part of the web, then itself becoming another energy potential to be exploited, creating a series of interconnected Darwinian systems that drive the complexity and diversity. Darwinian field species might conceivably mirror the web of life in this respect, but on a cosmic scale. To align this quantum field model with the universe we observe, we propose the existence of two interrelated elements, two divergent field species. The first corresponds to Einstein's space-time field, represented by GUV and AUV, while the second represents matter and energy, described by TUV. In essence, we have a space field and a matter field. The second field species likely diverged from the first by adapting to exploit the properties of the original, much like animals diverged from plants and evolved to harness them as an energy source. If we assume that Einstein's space-time field, GUV and AUV, is a self-regenerating energy field, then the matter universe, represented by TUV, can be understood as a divergent field species that has evolved to exploit its counterpart. From this foundation, the baryonic universe as we know it could emerge, with atoms evolving complex structures and processes optimized to efficiently capture energy present in space. Eukaryotic cells evolve their complex structural design, nucleus shells and bonding mechanisms, as optimizations for efficiently capturing environmental energy, specifically sunlight. Similarly, atoms with the same structural and behavioral themes may represent a case of convergent evolution, having adapted under the same fundamental pressure to optimize for efficient energy capture. Darwinian evolution may have shaped the fundamental building blocks of the universe from quantum fields, driving the emergence of complexity from simplicity.